Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello to all my returning subscribers. So today, I'm actually gonna have to do a COVID testing. It's myself, first time ever doing one by myself. I've always went to like a clinic, like every clinic to do it. I did get COVID last year, but yeah, it was an interesting time then. But we're gonna do this one. I have, I'm under a little weather. I woke up with like a cough and a sore throat. And I'm just a little worried because I'm working in the ED emergency department so i just want to make sure i'm safe so i've never done one hopefully the instructions are pretty easy but let's go it comes with instructions great great i think i got the i got the spanish one my bad that one aside let's grab the english one hopefully this is not complicated. Yeah. Hopefully the instructions before performing the test. Okay. Wash or sanitize your hand. Make sure they are dry before starting to read the instructions. Check your can you have everything. Check the expiration date. Print on the cassette file pouch. Yup, 2025. Open the pouch and lay the cassette on a clean flat surface. All right. Flat surface. That's not that. It's a cassette. What's the cassette? Still 827. I'm guessing this. Yeah, the cassette. Cool. Most generally the cassette. Locate the result window and sample window on the cassette. So result and sample. Cool. Remove the foil from the top of the extraction buffer. Extraction buffer? Test procedures. Oh. <coughs> In this one. So from the top. Let's see. No, oh, that's the test test. Is it, is it one of these ones? Okay, got it. So take, remove the t foil from the top extract buffer. Okay, punch through the move the setting. Open the swab at the stick end. Okay. Open the swab packing at the stick end, not the swab. Do not touch the swab tip. Gently insert the swab into one nostril. Your children the maximum. Finally rub the swab in a circle motion around the inside wall of the nostril five times. All right. This foil, grabbing this, not from the swab, and it says insert into one nostril, half to third, fourth inch. So um, put it right away in here and swab this for 30 seconds.
No. Okay, dispose of that. Let's just put it right here. Let me make sure I sanitize my hand. Attach the droplet drip onto the tube. Mix thoroughly by swirling and flipping the Okay, so that's what this is for. No? Or... Oh, so put that on top. There we go. Right, then we're gonna, it's on flat surface, so we're gonna squeeze it on the sampler, sample well. No, suppose the tube in the track. All right, so four of these. One, two, three, four. All right. <laughs> minutes y'all all right we have a trash uh, oh just cleaning up a little bit it was not as hard as i thought it'd be but we will see let so i give it 15 minutes so we'll see We'll see. Oh, I need to read this to get instructions. How do I tell which is positive and negative? All right. So if the C line show, if the, let's see, I was just reading it and I didn't tell you. I forgot I was recording. My bad, y'all. Uh, if the C line with no T line shows, that means it's good, you're negative. If a C and T line show, that means even if it's a faint peak, that means you're positive. And if no C line shows, that means the test is invalid. So we'll read it in 15 minutes, y'all. All right, looks like it is just a negative as the C is visible with no T line. So that is good. Thank goodness. Maybe just a little cold. All right. So, oops. all right. So I'm very happy that's negative. Uh, just working in the emergency room, you can really tell that there's potentially that you can get it e more easily compared to others because it's being around people who are constantly sick, extremely sick and all that. That's why I will definitely test. Uh, we get that a lot from patients of saying, well, COVID doesn't exist anymore or COVID is over. And I understand your opinion and perspective. I respect that. But having COVID and being sick that last year, it was terrible. But, you know, having that vaccine actually helped a lot from in my perspective and stuff like that. So I think people's opinions is just be safe uh, along with the COVID that is ramping up. I know there is like flus coming around and stuff like that. So hopefully I'm not going to, I'm not getting sick, but I'm glad I got that knocked out and actually being able to do a COVID test, self-testing on my own. That's actually really good. And the instructions are very thorough. So I hope I did it right. I might test one more time later tonight, just in case, because I am working uh, later in the week. So I think I, just to be safe because I want to make sure I did it right, but take care and God bless y'all.